Good morning, it's Friday, late in August. Let's go down extension. Um, so, um, I got some good news this morning. I got a call from Peoria Police Department, Sergeant Wraith, and he's like, hey, can you talk, little buddy? I was like, yeah, what's going on? He goes, is there somebody in the West Valley that might not like you? I was like, Kevy Cakes, you know Kevy Cakes now. And he's like, well, he's like, there's a police report reporting some suspicious activity. And uh, if you guys want to see it, if you guys want a copy of it, uh, he said that you can order it online. The police report is 2022-000-52975. And that is a report of Kevy Cakes or someone, I, I don't know for sure, um, reporting that I admitted in a text that I had sex with a 13 year old. And the, and the sergeant actually asked me about it. And I said, absolutely. And he was kind of you know, shocked because I would admit to something like that on the phone. And he goes, when was this? And I go, 1988. <laughs> and he's like, and how old were you? I was like 14. And he's like, mm, okay. He says, we're gonna drop this. He says, no, no criminal you know, they're not going to pursue it anymore. So I thought that was funny. Um, you know what, Kevy Cakes, I'm so proud of you for having commitment uh, to your craft of hatred. Um, uh, or uh, let's let's not say hatred. Let's say concern for your fellow men and for women of a certain age. So um, I think it's beautiful. Uh, it's, it's super um, creepy on some standards, but. Um, I just want to let everyone know that I, I I feel graduated today. I feel like I finally got some real hate fans, um, and I knew this day was going to come, and so that's why I reserved hatefans.com, where this report and uh, good old Kevy Cakes will be uh, served with a order of harassment. Now that I can get that report and have his last name, you all can look at his last name as well and the report and see how ridiculous it is. That I've been very open. I did try to uh, convert Sergeant Wraith to a subscriber on the YouTube channel, but he didn't really, he didn't really seem interested. But I was like, no, that's fine, that's fine. So, but um, uh, all I can tell you is to have hope and wake up every day. And even if, like this morning, I felt like shit, and I, I really wanted to take uh, some pills, and I didn't. Um, I'm gonna go to Chick Fil A and eat their soggy hash browns. But I love that. Uh, coffee was it frosted coffee is that what it's called frosted coffee and i'm going to make it a great day i'm going to go make a fat deposit into the bank uh with all my child molester money <laughs> right because according to kevy cakes that's that's what i do um i just i, I don't know I, again that's also why i reserved tom hanks eats babies.com um is to, to report on the ridiculous of celebrity and the way that um just because everyone has a voice doesn't mean they should use it. Uh, and it's important to, to use your voice for something significant, not for just dribble dribble uh, like heavy cakes. So, but um, I, 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 you know, I, I watched uh, the uh, podcast last night on YMH, uh, Your Mama's House, with Tom Segura and, and Christina P. And they had um, Louis C.K. on there last night. And it was fantastic. I've never seen... Louis talk like that in long format. It's like a two hour, I don't know if the interview is two hours, but the, the podcast is two hours. And it just inspires me. I, I really want to do um, my podcast. It's called Fuck Your Couch or Fuck Yo Couch. Um, I already reserved the, the dot com, fuck your, fuck your couch podcast dot com, and also fuck your couch dot net. So somebody else had the dot com, but it's fine. The idea is that you get to it. And so what I'm going to do is basically interview. Um, one of the, uh, we're going to interview local comedians and one of the things that I have um, a nice big source of is comedians that hate me and so I am going to turn that into gold and the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to interview them and they get to come over and basically say fuck your couch and uh, basically tell me off and then I interview them of course the goal for that is to turn them into uh, admirers and uh, to sort of uh, bury the hatchet but a lot of these comedians are cowards, uh, like Kibby Cakes, and so they they do anonymous things like children because they aren't they I don't want to say aren't won't articulate what they really mean and what they really want to do. So, but um, it's great. Life is great, guys. Don't give up. Um, there's lots of um, 
there's always hope out there. It's just what it's a perspective. Um, you know, even though there's aliens probably going to invade soon and, uh, or, or they're going to reveal that there's aliens and, uh, there's a comet coming towards us and then we have to save humanity or some shit like that. I don't know. You never know what's coming around the corner. Um, but, uh, don't watch Fox news, Fox news. Um, don't watch the news. Don't watch commercial TV anyway. It's just full of commercials. Um, choose the, the, the entertainment of your choice. I recommend the YMH podcast, of course. And then of course, uh, fuck your couch. Um, the other thing we wanted to do was, um, uh, we're also doing a podcast, uh, called, what was it? Cat house confessions. So unfortunately, um, the, my live in, uh, was it sex worker, um, uh, Chrissy, um, decided to not keep her promises. And, uh, so we had to ask her to leave. And so she's not with us any longer. Um, but, uh, it's okay. There are plenty of other sex workers that are, um, methamphetamine enthusiasts and, um, they are, they would love to talk and tell their story. And so we're going to have them on, on a podcast and, and it's basically going to work the same way, which is where typically you have a guest on, uh, if you have a, a successful podcast, you have a couple sponsors and then, um, you basically, um, promote whatever the, uh, the guest is selling. So whether it's a book or a movie or sex work. And so, um, we're going to definitely uh, do a little research on how we can do that without becoming pimps <laughs> or being charged as pimps. But, um, I think, it, I think it's a lot of fun and I think the environment is right now for, um, shit, the fucking Biden administration talked about, they were going to get into ketamine and, um, psychedelic, uh, therapies because they're effective. Like we're done with fucking Reagan and all their bullshit with the George Bush. You know, most of that was not Reagan. It was George Bush senior who was the CIA director for years and years and years and killed JFK and, you know, helped orchestrate nine 11 with Dick Cheney and all that kind of stuff. But, um, uh, again, this is all old news. In fact, there's a link to a great documentary. Uh, I think it's called from JFK to nine 11, uh, rich man's something or other, but I'll put a link to it and it's free on YouTube. It's really great. But anyways, uh, I'm at the bank, well, the credit union, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and deposit this fat stack of cash and wish you guys all the best. I, I want to do some videos today. I, I do still have to pack some orders <clears throat> that I got from last week that i just been super busy uh, trying to get everything done. Um, the good news is that, um, that we're on the path for Blackjack Audio to then qualify for some loans, SBA loans, and then I'll be able to hire a staff and uh, maybe get a better location. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be great. So either way, but just hang in there. I know it's tough. I know you're probably going through some tough times and you watch my channel because you want to be entertained and, uh, and, and enjoy yourself. And also you love audio and things like that. So me too. Um, this is the new me too movement. Anyways, I love you guys. Have a good weekend. Uh, but I'll talk to you soon on uh, some of these videos and reviews I got to do for recoil. So love you. Bye.